hopefully I'm giving some information to all these conservative voters. You know, it's like I understand you vote conservative to get out Trudeau and Pierre does a lot of good speeches and he's doing lots of good in parliament. But his, his underlining values are very much aligned with Trudeau, with the or you will I gotta be careful what I say in censor tube. What are we talking about? Blah, 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 with with you know talking about these subjects and he he is not bringing out the problems, the terribleness about COVID, the terribleness about the vaccines. He's not talking about any of this, but Maxine Bernier is with the People's Party of Canada and he does live question and answer about it every week or a bi weekly. All right, guys. Oh, and so I'm going to show you. I'll show you the footage from Rebel News interviewing Christine Anderson now, so you can see her side of the story to this tweet from Pierre or the Conservatives denouncing her. Okay. Anyone doing the bidding of Mr. Trudeau and buying into the uh, narrative of, uh, yeah, representing me in a way that, as uh, Mr. Trudeau would put it or would call it, un unacceptable views, um, just goes to show that apparently uh, he is someone that truly lacks the ability to see what's right in front of him and to see what is really important. And, uh, yeah, he may no longer be fit to actually represent the people. Hey guys, okay, now let's look at Brian Lilly. He is the one that got the message from conservative leader Pierre Polyev. So I'm gonna read it to you. Lilly states, I asked Polyev's office for comment on the meeting of three MPs and Christine Anderson. I received this comment from Pierre via text from a senior Polyev staffer, someone I've known for well over a decade. Many apparently think it's fake. It's not, or Polyev would say so. Statement from conservative leader Pierre on the three conservatives. So this is this this is it. Christine Anderson's views are vile and have no place in our politics. And frankly, it would be better if Anderson never visited Canada in the first place. She and her racist, hateful views are not welcome. Okay, so now I'm on his direct tweet of that. February 23rd, 2 million views. Wow. So Brian Lilly, he writes for the Toronto Sun. I've read a lot of his articles. My brother actually sends me a lot of his YouTubes. I recommend everyone check it out. He is uh, doing a good journalistic um, benefit for the Canadians. So we got people, source please, surprise uh, you RT this without it. It's from Polyev, he replies. What is the exact context of him saying that and why isn't in quotes? Did someone say something to him? This is what he offhand reaction was. He was... Uh, he was told she was a racist extremist and three MPs met her since it's not quotes. Is that a fact? Paraphrased. I truly hope you're not purposely being careless and misrepresenting what Pierre said. Okay, let's try to find his reply. Lots in this column. So he puts up an, a link to the Toronto Sun. Conserved MP wrong to meet with German extremists. Oh, I like this one. Lots of smiles in that picture. And let's take a look at the picture in detail. There you have it. <laughs> There's Christine. Yeah, having a good dinner. Another person, Andrew. Is this legitimately what Pierre Polyev said? If so, Pierre cannot be trusted. There is nothing hateful or racist that Christine Anderson has ever said. This is slander at best. It, at best, it's grossly ignorant, offensive, and dishonest. Here's a good one from Skylar. They've known about Christine Anderson coming for months and how much they were looking forward to meet up with her. It's all been on all of social media. And that's true. It's been advertised. Here you have it. It's a Fringe Family Day with special guest Christine Anderson. Monday, February 20th, Cambridge, Ontario. Tickets available. I mean, yeah, she's, she's doing a tour across Canada, meeting people. Okay, um, Token, what are her vile views? Please tell us. This sounds like a deliberate smear. And so we have um, unacceptable proud daughter of somebody. She's opposed to the Islamization, Islamization of Europe, mass migration, and the oppression of women in Muslim countries, which seems like a true problem to me. She's worried about our freedoms being lost and the future of Europe. What's wrong with that? Labeling her in an effort to suppress... Do you do a difference between um, the radical Islam and the Muslim, or you condemn all this religion as a whole? 
Okay, I always differentiate between uh, people and uh, organizations. <clears throat> so when, when looking at Islam, um, I do not have problems with Muslims. I do, however, have a problem with Islam. I do not consider Islam to be a, a religion, uh, much less a religion of peace. It's actually a religion of submission. Um, I, I, I seriously have a problem with Islam. Um, I'm not Islamophobe. Uh, on the contrary, I'm not afraid of Islam. What I'm afraid of is um, that Islam, and I consider it that, uh, that to be, it, the Islam is, is a mis misogynistic, dehumanizing, and, and you know, uh, ideology. It's not a religion, at least not by our standard of what a religion should be. Our understanding of, of religion is actually that uh, love, compassion, forgiveness, you know, and eternal life. That's our understanding of religion. That, however, does not apply to Islam, as l at least not if you really look into this ideology. Uh, by no stretch of the imagination would you actually consider that a religion. Um, it's kind of like um, while uh, communism claims to be some kind of a, a governing uh, a mechanism, uh, which it's not, it's a religion, but Islam posing as a religion is exactly that. It's a state ideology. Okay, guys, now we're going to scroll up Brian Lilly's uh, to more recent posts about things that matter. Trudeau claims that his drug policies are saving lives significantly. The numbers show that on his watch, overdose deaths have gone up and up and up. His policies aren't working and we need to rethink. Um, this, is, this is still the biggest, most important story in Canadian politics right now. And Canadians deserve answers, not obfuscation. And it's about Trudeau claims Chinese election interference leaks inaccurate. Yeah, so the real story. He's trying to show people like this is actual what you should be paying attention to. The CTV and Globe and CP all using the same quote from Pierre Polyev that far too many on here said was fake, made up, and not his words. Oh, interesting. And we go over. Conservative MPs criticized for meeting with anti-immigration German politician. Oh, I'm not paying you that, guys. Forget it. Um, to become the 2019 news has learned the consulate allegedly sent two busloads of Chinese Canadian seniors to the Don Valley North Liberal nomination meeting. And those seniors knew who to vote for because Don's name was written on their arm. Sources also say CISA suspected that Chinese international students with faked addresses were bussed in and told by the PRC consulate to support their preferred candidate if they wanted to maintain their student visa status. Wow. Dong denied allegations he was helped by Beijing, calling them false accusations that slander me and the community I represent. Yeah, guys, My so there, in there's the real story. Open. It's unreal. Well, that'll be a whole separate story. Uh, I want to finish this story. Um, as you, Oh, look, he's talking about... Here we go. The statement has been... I wonder how all the idiots who thought this was a fake statement from Pierre Polyev are reacting to him showing up at a rally for Ukraine and sharing the stage with Trudeau and Ford saying Canadians stand with Ukraine. Here we are. Brian Lilly retweeted from Colin Carey. I profoundly regret attending a meeting without having sought the input of my staff and without having undertaken a fulsome vetting of the individuals or organizations with whom I was meeting, which is my usual practice. I alone own this mistake. I will do better. And here is his release. It, it, <laughs> Dean Allison, the member of Parliament for Niagara West, and Colin Carey, the member of Oshawa, and Leslie Lewis, the member of Parliament for... Haldimat Norfolk, Norfolk, that sounds familiar, released the following statement. It is, of course, not uncommon for members of parliament to meet with visiting elected officials from other countries. During a visit, we recently met with an elected representative of the European Parliament while she was in Canada. We were not aware of the views and associations of her and her political party. We do not share, endorse her views, and strongly condemn any views that are racist and hateful. <laughs> And then, so there's Colin's statement, and then, oh, here we go, Brian Lilly. So if a conservative MP puts out an official statement on official party letterhead, do the whack jobs claiming Pierre's statement to me was false suddenly believe it? Or do they shapeshift like lizard people and adopt a new position? <laughs> well put, Brian, well put. 
And then he continues on, more leaks, more detailed allegations of China's interference in Canada's elections, and all Trudeau can say is, trust me, is that good enough? No one, not even liberal voters should say yes to that. And there you go, it, guys. So that kind of finishes off the full story. It is very likely from Pierre, and Pierre is not denying it. There's no denial. He's had two days to deny it. So this is Marcel Ernie with Ernie Racy News. We can put this one to bed.